Throughout the development of Gorilla Tag VR, especially before the official release, there were a lot of tested features that for whatever reason got removed or cancelled entirely, maybe to make a future comeback or never to be seen again. This is Gorilla Tag Cut Content. First off, one I really wanted to try out, that being the PvE game mode, where you could throw some fireballs at enemies that were not real players, but instead some yellow cylinders. Unfortunately, the servers aren't up on old versions and PvE won't work if you try to go on the old build and try it out. Not entirely sure on why it was removed, but we can look at the next one and possibly get an idea of why. So now let's look at Dodgeball, a planned game mode where you would throw dodgeballs at each other. We know why this one was never implemented. Lemming has stated that the gesture of throwing in Gorilla Tag was pretty awkward and wasn't intuitive, as well as it being quite hard to hit the erratically moving monkeys in-game. It didn't feel good to play, so he didn't want to waste time working on it, when he could be working on more viable things. You could say that the recent Battle Beta game mode is a revival of the dodgeball mechanic. This next one sounds like it would have been awesome to have in-game, XP levels. During a few of the old builds of Gorilla Tag, there was an XP system where you could gain levels, and they would be displayed on the scoreboard. I really wish this was still in the game today. It doesn't even have to be something that actually does anything, but a way to see the skill of a player right from the scoreboard would be great. It was probably removed because Lemming doesn't like stuff that changes why you would play, like his reasoning for not having daily challenges for shiny rocks. He doesn't want the game to feel like you have to do something and take away from actually playing the way you want. Now, a feature people have been wanting for a long time, but I don't think was implemented before, a friending system in Gorilla Tag. In the game files, there are scripts that deal with a friending system. I don't have the full scripts, mainly just the references and variables, but in one of them there is a thing called overlap colliders, so maybe it would have been set up so you can't tag friends. Not sure why it wasn't implemented, but it could be many things. I'm thinking it could be something that wouldn't work as well with cross-platform, as well as not being able to tag friends. It would seem like it wouldn't be as fun. And for the last one, one I myself have wanted ever since I found out that it was in-game at one point, Capture the Flag. There are a few old builds that have it implemented, although again, servers aren't up on those versions, so there would be no way to play it. It was removed since Lemon couldn't figure out how to make it around as fun as Infection. I hope it returns in some way, modded or official, but this is something I really wanted to try out. And if not as Capture the Flag, then maybe King of the Hill would have been a great alternative. And that was 5 features that were cut from Gorilla Tag VR for one reason or another. I hope some of these eventually return in some way, especially the game mode ones. Gorilla Tag could use some awesome new game modes. Let me know what you would love to see in Gorilla Tag, either one of these or some other idea you have. That's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.